The death toll here in the U.S. has now risen to more than 51,000, with the number of cases hovering above 900,000. Last week at this time, there were 700,000 cases. But thankfully, there is some hopeful news from New York State, the epicenter of this outbreak, where the death toll has dropped to its lowest level in weeks. It is safe to say that the coronavirus has turned everyone's life upside down for these past few months. Everyone faces hard times right now, but one group faces a different set of struggles. Students. Almost every school in the United States has faced closure and is unsure when doors will open again. Students have shifted to online learning. However, such a change in lifestyle does not come without its problems. Students everywhere are looking towards the future and keeping a positive outlook. 43 states, 4 U.S. territories, and the District of Columbia have ordered or recommended school building closures for the rest of the academic year, affecting approximately 45.1 million public school students, says Education Week Journal. School closures due to coronavirus have impacted at least 124,000 U.S. public and private schools and affected at least 55.1 million students. There are at least 98,000 public schools and at least 34,000 private schools in the U.S., according to the National Center for Education Statistics. Those schools educate almost 50.8 million public school students and 5.8 million private school students. While on quarantine, students have been receiving assigned work each day and trying to maintain an at-home version of school. Some days, which is most of the time, I plan out my day very well and I get it done when I first wake up. And the workload hasn't been terrible. I don't think teachers have been uh, giving us too much. So I, I would say that I'm not struggling with the workload. I am struggling with the workload. It's way too much. Some classes are way heavier than others. And in my opinion, a lot of my classes are useless because there's no regents at the end of the year and I'm not gonna need to use chemistry in my normal life. No, actually I haven't been struggling with the workload. I think the teachers are all trying to uh, make the workload manageable for all of us and so that we're not overwhelmed. Um, they're trying to just make it so that it's enough to balance at home with all of the situations that people could have going on in their own, their own lives. With an abundance of work from teachers, students are also taking time to relax. I've been playing a lot of video games, you know, watching a lot of TV. I've been watching a lot of video essays on random topics, like ships being crashed or abandoned amusement parks. And they're like hours long, and it's very interesting. I like a good documentary. Just, you know, take breaks, watch Netflix, uh, listen to music, maybe, you know, talk to my family every once in a while. I've been working out a lot and playing soccer. That helps me a lot. I always do that. Um, spending time with my family and watching TV, that's a really nice thing to do. And um, I've been drawing a lot too. Being quarantined as a student doesn't mean everything has to revolve around work. Hobbies can help pass time and improve your mood. Actually, I've actually taken up a lot of different new hobbies, such as cooking. I've actually never cooked before this, and now that I have all of this time on my hands, I've decided to put myself to work in the kitchen, and I've made a lot of different treats. I've been trying to like organize things with my like uh, other family members and stuff. So like we did different like video conferences, like a talent show one night. We're gonna do like a karaoke the other night, and we have just like different things going on like that. So just to keep us interacting with each other, and so we aren't so isolated from our family. The ad started selling more, which is nice. I have a lot more free time. In a time full of uncertainty, it's important to remember you are not alone. Students around the world are all facing the same challenges. This time will pass. Stay safe.